This looks like a clue.
my fucking gun. That kind of image should be not that big though. Is here. I got that kid's present. Can you get it to him? You risked your life to make a child happy. All I can say is thank you. Ilum, that's you? Uh, here. Brought you something from the post office. Are you kidding? That's great. Wow. For fuck's sake, you brought me my power bill. Well, don't get mad at me. I don't read other people's mail. I didn't know what it was. Ah, fuck it. It's not like I'm gonna pay it. Uh, excuse me, Sarah. I found something for you at the post office. Are you serious? I mean, thank you, but... Why did you bring this all the way here? I just thought it might be important. Wow. For a moment there, I felt like... like everything was normal again. Like this nightmare never happened. Thank you. Truly. Hey, no problem. Take care. I saw your note, Jazir. Who's this Sabat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. I know, he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? 
And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sum it, it's no laughing matter. Tell me about this Sabic guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals than people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's... It's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbath. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? 